Hello and a warm welcome on this very sunny day. I'm delighted to be able to report at the Borussia Park in München Gladbach. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga. It is Borussia München Gladbach up against Bayern Munich. Thanks, Derek. Your both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly. Hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. And here's the starting 11 for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play the two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. The goalkeeper, Dayo Kamekano, plays with Matthijs de Ligt in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And the match begins. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, here it is again. The ball over the top is an absolute beauty, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. And the game back in business, and Bayern have nudged in front. It's looking promising. Good defending in the end, and danger averted for now. Sané. Musiala. Gnabry. And the cross didn't beat the first man. Wolf. Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. And steered back under a bit of pressure. Intercepting it intelligently. Wolf. Now with Stindl. Now well, play stopped. It is a free kick. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. Jamal Musiala. An effective challenge. Boy. Turan. Determined defending.
And over it comes. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Hoffman. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Kimmich. Gnabry with it. A non-forced error, you've got to say. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Stindler. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Serge Gnabry. Choupo-Moting. Well, not great from the keeper. Chance to cross. Really vital interception. A well, very effective play in possession. Opportunity! Well, flinging himself at it. And there's the delivery. Not away completely. And Bayern, the recipients of the free kick here. As you can see, Gladbach have had most of the ball, but they've shown a real lack of invention today. One or two of their more talented players need to step up now to get them back into this game. Just cutting off the supply. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Guadio Cone. Nico Elvedi. Here's Hannes Wolf. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Goretzka. Now with Kimmich. Shupomotin. Now Kimmich. Shupomotin. Oh, good hands there from the keeper. Nicely cut out. De Ligt. Upamecano. Now the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Shupamoting. Return to Goretzka. Can he finish this? And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. So, the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game, Stuart. Yeah, he's not had his usual impact, has he? He just hasn't got on the ball in dangerous positions. He's got to keep working hard to find that little bit of space to make something happen, that's for sure. So the second half is underway, and I must say it was sparkling stuff from Bayern in the first 45. A 
on the back of that particular challenge will the referee let the matter rest there and yellow it is a booking yeah he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card they've decided that now is the time to go to the bench And fired from the flank into the area. And an effective clearance. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. And still danger here. Well, that's the end of that for now. Joe Scally. Lars Stindl. On to Turam. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. A free-kick decision going the way of Bayern. Here it is now, a substitution. Leon Goretzka. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Making sure it didn't get past him. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Counter-attacking very much an option. Turan. Lea. And here's Stindl. And the flag had to go up. It wasn't close. He's going to be disappointed with that pass. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Serge Gnabry. Bayern have lost the ball. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Lea. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. And Bayern will change personnel now. <laughs> Nicely timed tackle. Lea. And back with Stindl. Joshua Kimmich. Serge Gnabry. Now options are plenty. Sané. Leroy Sané. Another goal. And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Well, back with the action. Bayern dominant. This is starting to get out of hand, you just feel. Twenty minutes to go. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long.
Koman. Goretzka has it now. Kimmich. Koman. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Joao Cancelo. Musiala. Goretzka. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Alassane Player. Turan. Return to Player. Well, he certainly wasn't offside by a mile. It's a substitution for Bayern. Well, approaching full time, and this is wearing the look of Mission Impossible for the home side, Stuart. Well, they just never got going. People will point fingers towards the centre-backs and keeper, and to be fair, they've been poor, no doubt about that. But they haven't had much protection. There's been so much space for their opponents to operate in, and they've had a field day. The final... oh, hang on, Stuart, look at this! And there it is, a goal! But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Goals in plentiful supply, 4-1 currently. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Marvin Friedrich. Effective looking pass. And the flag has gone up. Offside. Musiala. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Player. Are oh, there to intercept? Musiala. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. It was the nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what, though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now. Leroy Zane, I think, will be happy with the way he contributed. Sum up his performance for us. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.